Hello friends. This lecture covers specific type of division problems. In this lecture, I am going to solve the division problems when divisor is closer and smaller than power of 10. There are some of the examples of this type of divisor is 89, 99, 97, 997, 898. All these divisor are of this type. Before moving ahead, let's learn one new concept that is Nikhilam formula. Nikhilam formula states that all from 9 and last from 10. That means whenever we want to apply Nikhilam formula on any number, subtract all digits of that number from 9 and the last digit from 10. Let's take our first example. Suppose I want to divide 113 by 89. As a first step, apply Nikhilam formula on 89 and get the complement 11. Here I subtract 8 from 9 and 9 from 10 and getting the complement 11. As a next step, split dividend into quotient and remainder. Here the remainder will have the same digit that of divisor. So here I put 13 in remainder part. To get the answer, put first digit 1 as it is. Now multiply 1 with individual digits of 11 that is complement. So 1 multiplied with 1 gives me 1. Again 1 multiplied with 1 gives me 1. Now add all the digits of second column gives me 2. Add all the digits of third column gives me 4. So I am getting the answer quotient is 1 and remainder is 24. Okay, consider another example. Suppose I want to divide 10015 by 98 as a first step. I will have to apply Nikhilam formula on 98 and get the complement 02. Please mention that here it's a 02, not only 2. 0 is very much important. As a next step, I will split 10015 into quotient and remainder. So 15 goes in remainder part because 90 will, 98 will have two digit only. To get the answer, I put first digit 1 as it is. Now multiply the first digit 1 with individual digit of 0 2 will gives me 0 and 2. Now add all the digits of second column will gives me 0. Now repeat the same process again multiply this second digit of quotient 0 with individual digits of 0 2 will give me 0 and 0. Again add all the digits of third column will give me 2. Repeat the same process multiply 2 with individual digits of 0 2 will give me 0 and 2 please mention repeat this process till you get the number in the last column here i am getting the digit 4 in the last column so i stop here as a next step add all the digits of second last column will give me 1 and all the digits of last column will give me 9. So here the answer is quotient is 102 and remainder is 19. Again please note that repeat this process till you get the number in the last column. Okay consider one more example. Suppose I want to divide 113401 by 997. As a first step I will have to apply Nikhilam formula on 997 and I am getting the complement 003. As a next step, I divide 113401 into quotient and remainder. Here the divisor has 3 digits. So I am putting 401 in remainder part. To get the answer, as a first step, I put 1 as it is. I multiply 1 with individual digits of 003 will give me 0, 0 and 3. Now, 
add all the digits of second column will give me 1 again multiplied this 1 with individual digits of 0 0 3 will give me 0 0 and 3 now add all the digits of third column will give me 3 again multiply this 3 with individual digits of 0 0 3 will give me 0 0 and 9 as a next step add all the digits of last column will give me 10 add all the digits of second last column will give me 3 add all the digits of third last column will give me 7 I consider 1 as a carry in the last digit so 7310 will be converted to 740 so here I am getting the answer quotient is 113 and reminder is 740 okay take one more example suppose I want to divide 12485 by 898 as a first step I will have to apply Nikilum formula on 898 and get the complement 102 as a next step I will have to divide 12485 into quotient and remainder here the divisor has three digits so I am putting 485 into remainder part to get the answer I am putting 1 as it is multiply 1 with individual digits of 102 will give me 102 add all the digits of second column will give me 2 plus 1 3 multiply this 3 with individual digits of 102 will give me 306 here I am getting the number 6 in the last column so I stop here as a next step I add all the digits of last column will give me 11 I add all the digits of second last column will give me 10 I add all the digits of third last column will give me 7 and when we co consider carry it will be converted to 811 so here I am getting the answer 13 is the quotient and 811 is the remainder. Thank you.